Hello everyone, well I've released a new version of NoTrack, first one for this year, version 21.03. Oh, it's taken me quite a while to get any more done on the programming side, and yeah, honestly it just seems to have been a whole struggle this year. Videos, programming, yeah, quite frankly I get to the end of my working day and I just want to turn the computer off. And that's how it seems to have been really, I'm hoping things will get better at some point, but yeah, what can I say? The changes that I've done to no track in this version aren't exactly hugely impressive. It's just a little bit more of an enhancement and yeah, a little feature gain here. We've added the uh, Russian version of uh, the tracking domains to the analytics page. This is analytics carried out on your system to try and identify any trackers or advertising sites that you have inadvertently accessed that should have been blocked. So that's all data processing done on your system. I don't see any of it unless you actually want to report a thing. And that's where the next point comes in that uh, I've done a little improvement to the report and blocking dialog boxes. This is the analytics I'm talking about. So yeah, there's some potential tracking or advertising sites that I've accessed there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to this one here. So the tp88trk.com. So now you can actually report straight from that pop-up menu. You don't have to go through block domain and then report from there. It's kind of just a simplified that process a little bit. You can add an optional comment if you want, just to describe a problem or a reason why something should or shouldn't be blocked, in fact, because you can report incorrectly blocked websites. Although the problem is some domains have multiple uses and Tracking could be a big part of it, even though there might be a legitimate purpose to it as well. But I think with this one, uh, I think that is actually a tracking company. So I'm just going to say confirm the report on that. And that goes across to my website where it has been saved and awaiting me to look at later. I don't automatically add everything that gets submitted here because <laughs> Instagram.com I might look at that just to see if there is anything that could be blocked on there, but otherwise I don't think Instagram needs blocking. <laughs> I've also done a lot of work on the back end of this with the way that the block list is stored, and I covered that in a different video recently. So although not visible, that's actually been quite a bit of work towards the project. And yeah, in terms of actually viewing the domains you've accessed through the day, yeah, this is the DNS queries page. You can view them grouped by time or by name. On the pop-up menu here, you've got yeah, the options to report uh, that allow or block switches depending on whether the domain has been blocked or allowed. In this case, it has been blocked and blocked by the no track block list. So yeah, I can just add an entire domain to a black or white list or add a subdomain. The, sort of the behavior here changes depending on whether we're looking at say subdomains or a single domain like this, DuckDuckGo. This is your personal block list on your system. So yeah, that behavior is purely for you. It doesn't affect anything else. Oh, yeah, there's something else I noticed there, track1.anyview.com. <laughs> yeah, there's no way that's legitimate. So I'm gonna report that one. Notice the company it was attributed to earlier. So I'm just gonna report that and yeah, I'll look at it later. So yeah, that's it really, as I said, it's not a huge number of changes for this release. It's just a little bit, a little bit of an improvement there. Oh yeah, notice that these same menus continue throughout depending on the different pages I'm looking at. So just trying to make things consistent really. So I still have plenty more ideas of things I want to implement on no track. It's just obviously time and motivation really. That uh, certainly is a, a little bit of a problem, but I get there when I get there, I guess. So yeah, that was just a little update for this video. So that is the changes in the new version of NoTrack 21.03. For existing users, you should get notification in the next few days and it will take you to the upgrade page which gives you the instructions for manually updating the software. There is still no automated update because it does require root privileges, which you can't do from the web interface. So, and that was something that changed a few months ago and was all part of the security improvement to no track. Right, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. <laughs>